What's going on my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. And uh, today we're actually going to go caving. Uh, last time I made an episode, um, we said we we're going to go caving, but never actually made it anywhere. And uh, so today, I wanted to actually do that. I want to actually go caving and, and have fun with you guys and talk, of course, because I said that I was going to start making episodes again, and that didn't happen. So obviously something did happen. Um... So I just want to sort of talk about that a little bit. Um, so first of all, I recorded an episode and uh, never had my mic on. And it just was a disaster and I was really sad about it and all that stuff. Um, so I ended up not uh, releasing that uh, just because, you know, wasn't my favorite thing. Um... I don't like putting up episodes that don't have anything in them. Um, I know some people do that, and uh, to me there's no point, because part of the reason why I'm making these episodes is so you guys can interact with me, and um, when I am not able to do that, crap. Um, when I'm not able to interact with you guys, I just don't see any point in it. Hey, guy. Ooh. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of Rust off camera, and um, I want to talk why why that's happening and all that. Um, so last time I talked about how the girl said basically uh, the girl and I didn't really work out and all that stuff. Well, um, to say that it wasn't hard on me was... Um, an understatement and I didn't I didn't know myself very well enough um, I've been kind of in a funk because of it it's it's hard to really explain it put words to it but it's just it's hard because I feel like and we're having a heart to heart right now so just listen up um, it's hard because I feel like I keep on uh, trying with this this sort of thing and uh, can't seem to succeed and of course I know one day I will but um, this girl has been um, a really good friend of mine and through this uh, we've gotten a lot closer than I think um, we would have because I think we would have ended up dating and uh, things would have gotten a lot more difficult um, because we talked about it um, I went and I asked her out just plain because before I had sort of asked her out in a um, in a way that really isn't in my book or really anyone's book considered asking someone out so it was kind of like hey uh, you wanna go or uh, not even you wanna go it was can I fix your computer uh, that's not asking a girl out <laughs> that's asking her if she wants her computer fixed which of course she wants her computer fixed um, she doesn't want to go around with a broken computer, so of course she's going to say yes. Um, which that leads you into the friend zone, which you don't want to be in the friend zone. Um, the best way to ask a girl out is plainly. Hey, do you want to go grab some coffee? Or do you want to go get some food? Um, a lot easier than people think. But that's besides the point. What I'm trying to talk about is... Um, I had asked her out once and then she said she couldn't and I asked her out again and she said she couldn't and so basically I said well when when could we go out you know and um, she's like well we, we picked a date for us to go out and uh, whoa hey guy um, we picked a date for us to go out and uh, I decided um, to start bringing her home and um, I said okay well Here's your chance. Build some rapport and uh, try and get things together with her. Well, through one of the, the rides homes, rides home, um, she basically asked me, why are you so into me? Why why do you like me so much? Um, she gave me a very nice compliment that I think as a guy is probably one of the most, um, the best compliments you can receive. And she said, um, you're such an amazing person and um, you know 
the girl that does end up getting you is going to be really lucky, but I just don't think we could be in a long-term relationship together. And uh, I took this as sort of like a challenge, like, okay, well, she just wants me to prove to her um, that I can be uh, the person that she wants in her life. Um, so I took it as a challenge. I'm like, okay, well, maybe she wants me to be a little more buff, all this stuff. So, um, I kind of, I, I kind of wanted to expound upon it. So I'm like, well, what, what is it about me that, um, you don't think would last in a long-term relationship? And she's like, well, and then she starts tearing up. And I knew at that point that there was a lot more to the story. Um, because girls don't usually tear up like that. And uh, it was really hard on her, I think. Um, obviously, because she was crying. But I was like, okay, I get it. So, you like me as a person. and uh, But you just don't think that we are compatible and she nodded and said yes and uh, she just said it's just that I'm such a good person and she likes me a lot but she just knows that long term wise it wouldn't work out which in one respect is good to have somebody like that that can be upfront and honest with you and say um, look this isn't going to work out but at the same time um it's hurtful. It's very hurtful. Um, because if you don't take it in the right way, in the right context, it also means one other thing. It means that I'm not good enough. Um, that something about me isn't good enough for um, us to be together. But you need to not take it like that. And that's very difficult when you've opened yourself. Hey, get out of my way. I'm trying to talk. Uh, it's very difficult when you've opened yourself up to somebody and uh, you get that kind of rejection. Um, it, it's hard enough already, uh, and, and some of you guys that are Let's Players know this, um, to put yourself out there on here and um, you, know, you, you don't open yourself as much up as you do in a relationship with somebody. Get out of my way, you fool. <laughs> um, you don't open yourself as much as you would in a um, romantic relationship as you do on here. but So it doesn't even hurt as much as when somebody you care about says something like that. So it's very easy to misconstrued what that person's saying. And um, in the past, and this is a little history about me, um, some things that I'm not proud of. In the past, whenever something like this has happened, I've always run away from the girl. Um, because in my mind, the best way to protect yourself is to get away from the person. And uh, not talk to them, not speak to them. And um, I can't I can't do that. Especially not here where, where I work with the girl and, and all that stuff. And so I decided, what's the best option here? The best option is to get my life back together for one and for two just start hanging out with her and um, if she likes me that much and cares about me that much uh, then we can become really good friends and be there for each other uh, like we would if we were in that sort of relationship um, but without being in a relationship, if you understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying friends with benefits, but I'm saying, like, um, you know, when you're single, it's very difficult um, to get past the, the the feelings that of loneliness and uh, stuff like that. And uh, if you have somebody that you can talk to, like a friend, um, it's a lot easier. But for me, I haven't had a friend. Oh, there goes that pickaxe. Um, I haven't had a friend that I could really talk to deep about stuff like this um, since 
a long time. Uh, there was one girl that I was really, really attracted to, um, and we became best friends. Um, but that relationship never happened. And uh, what did end up happening is I got hurt by that, and uh, that relationship fell apart um, for a lot of different reasons, not just because I ran away at the start and all that stuff. Um, but I just, man, I've been wanting someone to um, relate to, understand me, and uh, get to know for a long time, but I just haven't had that. Um, haven't had that opportunity. So it's been a difficult couple weeks, and um, I, I'm definitely feeling like I'm coming out of this, um, and I'm coming out of it on top. It's just a long process, and um, kind of hard one at that to uh, be able to adapt and change with the environment around me. Um, do I think I'm going to end up with this girl? Probably not. Uh, unfortunately, I think she's right. I don't think we would work out long term. You never know. Funny stuff happens, but um, I'm not holding my breath on it just because I need to move on. I need to be able to um, get myself to the place where I can find somebody special. And uh, the only way I can do that is to um, let her go and uh, search uh, for somebody uh, else out there. So. Either way, guys, um, thanks for being there for me. Thanks for not running away <laughs> um, and all that sort of stuff. I know I haven't posted videos. I know I haven't done that stuff, but um, you guys are awesome. Everybody hasn't unsubscribed or anything like that. Um, Justin hasn't kicked me off the Casecraft server, um, and uh, all that's good. So... Hopefully everything works out for the best, and I think it will. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start doing this stuff again. Um, in the past, when I've gone through these little lulls, this is what's sort of helped me by and, and carried me through. So I uh, I want to continue that. Oops, going the wrong way. Um, I want to continue that and and um, start making videos again for that reason. Um, and uh, that that's a powerful tool because I'm able to, to speak to you guys candid and speak to you guys about real things rather than, uh, you know, finding something off the top of my mind to talk about. Uh, either way, I'm going to head back and uh, I want to smelt up this iron and uh, that should give us enough uh, to transport some villagers over to our humble little Roman town and... Can't make any promises, but uh, you guys will know when I'm back back. Um, hopefully, this will be the start of some episodes. Alrighty. So, until next time, happy mining and crafting.